Hi there, it's currently January 10th, 2018. We are doing a weekly reading for January 10th to January 16th. It is currently Wednesday. I'm a little bit late getting this video, oh, but regardless, we are going to do this with style because I got my hair did, which is really nice because I don't think I've ever had my hair curled in any years that I can ever remember. And so I'm learning how to uh, work on my beauty. Isn't that nice? So that's enough chitter chatter for me. We will get on with this. Thank you so much for liking as well as sharing. Uh, for those who have added me onto Facebook or who are following me on Facebook, I have my events on there. Feel free to share, uh, especially if you live around the local Moncton area. I uh, wrote or wrote. I did a little blurb, well, A, on a book that I have been working on, and um, I also discussed in that video about the need to kind of connect with the community and working out in the public and that sort of thing. So um, I'm feeling like it's really important to express um, my gratitude for people who share these things as well as um, just trying to, uh, I just appreciate for those who are really um, trying to help me uh, get a little quick start living in a new area. So I also do readings uh, through telephone. I do them in person, but it's a lot easier just to um, pick, up message, to pick up messages through the telephone. Um, and that being said, let's continue. The Empress. So I'm feeling like there's someone watching who um, needs to work on their creativity. Um, they're lacking some creativity right now. So um, focusing on um, working with the light is also very important right now. Uh, working with the light means uh, positivity. Working with um, the angelic realms. Um, believing and trusting that people that have passed away are um, helping us along our path now um, and just uh, moving forward in our lives is coming through. I think that that's going to be our theme for this week from a Wednesday on until next Wednesday. So moving forward in our lives in what are sh whatever shape or form that means to you. So but the power of positivity is coming through uh, very strongly. I think that it's important to add more into our lives in whatever area we're, we feel like we're not um, completely satisfied in. So when I've talked about um, New Year's resolutions or what we want to put out there for the month of January, I kind of mentioned uh, what, what we're doing essentially, especially for the month of January, is trying to figure out um, what is it that I'm lacking in my personal life that I can um, work on or, or um, change so that new, new life is created uh, through the things that maybe I haven't been paying attention to. I emphasize on health for myself, working on some uh, health goals. Uh, so whatever it is for you, maybe it's love, family, uh, how you spend your time, that sort of thing. So the Empress is coming through for Wednesday. Um, I'm hearing hologram. So um, passing along information to people at a distance as well. We can actually do distant healing. Like I said, we could also do telephone readings. Um, we can share energy just about to any anywhere we possibly want to. So it's about setting intention, setting our goals, setting people straight as well today. Um, so I forgot that it's today. Um, just highlighting um, all the things that you want in your life. So manifesting those things but also communicating. Um, that's why angelic realms is coming up. So maybe you're just putting that energy out into the universe mm -hmm. and allowing things to manifest that way. So lavish abundance. It says the empress, give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others. So exactly what I was saying. So this is coming through on Wednesday. I think communication is essential right now, even if it's, if it's just communication with ourselves. We're um, having this inward discussion. So what is it that I really want to do? And then working on that, okay? So tomorrow we have Thursday, 9 of Earth, dealing with finance. So we're actually on the 16th, we're moving into, so that is next um, Tuesday. We're um, moving into a uh, new moon in Capricorn, which is all about money, finance, work, family, that sort of thing. So 
Enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. So Thursday, I'm hearing you're getting situated. So you're developing um, not only your creativity, but uh, maybe a little more structure in your life. Um, past life regression's coming up. I also do past life regression. I feel like I don't always mention all the things that I do for those that are interested. But like I said, we're developing structure. Um, patterns of behaviors are also coming up. Um, trying to climatize to new environments, new things at this time isn't always easy for people. So just um, the power of suggestion is just coming through. Um, teaching yourself to spread your wings and fly. So that, uh, that little blurb I did uh, a couple days ago, if you watch that, um, it's talking about exactly that, that we need to overcome our fears. Um, really just get out there and and tell people what you do um, tell people people what you like uh, get out there and just kind of uh, be you essentially or um, become the person that you want to be so charisma is coming through very strongly as well for Thursday following through with your ideas is so very important it is for myself as well right now so um, this is just like an energetic um, modality or practice that we can do for ourselves at this time is just um, give people credit um, where they deserve credit and give ourselves more credit as well so um, things uh, things that are a little more self-based so um, I think we're deciding that we're important in our own lives and it's a really great time to share ideas so Friday we have um, justice so um, children is coming through very strongly if you're looking to have kids um, or you already have children, um, making sure that they're safe is really important. So, um, or so maybe it could be a protection with um, an intimate partner as well, making sure that you're protecting yourself in that way, um, protecting your finances is coming up on Friday, making sure that you're um, squared up with people, so making sure that people that owe you money um, versus and um, you owing other people money, that that's settled, um, and just following through with these ideas that we have on Friday. So solutions to problems, Friday. I'm also hearing music is important and finding peace, finding some inner joy um, Friday going into Saturday. So Saturday we have the magician, Archangel Raziel. You are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. So this is saying that um, when I keep saying practices, it's... Um, following through with ideas. I can't say that enough. So perhaps you need to write some things down as to what it is that you want to do for yourself. If you're really kind of indecisive, I'm feeling like uh, breathing exercises are important for some people. But Saturday, you're going to find that the details are really important. So navigating through your life, perhaps. Um, so more problem solving. So it sounds like uh, somebody specifically that's watching this um, needs to learn from someone else. So I guess that's why I, I'm trying to uh, get out there what I do because there, I am a resource for uh, people if they uh, choose me as um, a, to become like a part of their also part of their practice. I think it's good to ask people questions. I think it's good to get advice. You are not um, you are not in this. Uh, life just for other people if you're one of those who uh, give more than you receive okay so that's Saturday let's go into um, an angel card um, that is different from those cards because those are my angel tarot cards and these are just my angel cards and my dog has bitten part of this which is opportunity to forgive and this is going to transition all the way into um, I feel like Saturday to Tuesday, but so maybe even Sunday to Tuesday, but regardless, um, we're working on healing uh, New areas that we're walking into may need healing. So if you do um, your own healing practice as well You may find you need to work on healing um, environments. So these new environments that you have manifested into your life It's wonderful, but uh, it may be like if you're moving into a new home that new home has had a lot of things that have happened in it So you may want to work on um, healing that home by bringing it love. Maybe you're in a new um you're in a new uh, job, you want to make sure that you're not uh, attacking people um, when you walk into a new job just because 
um, you feel like it, just make sure that um, you're, like I said, you're healing in these new places. So just know that everything comes at us because that's what we need, but that's where the problem solving comes in. Uh, perhaps we're, we're not seeing the whole picture um, and that's why we need to get advice. So um, from from Sunday to Tuesday, especially, you're going to find um, this is where you're identifying patterns of behavior. So um, working on communication is going to be huge this week. Um, letting go of the things that we worry about. And although it's important to become aware of ourselves and the things that we want, we also have to give ourselves... Um, the respect that we deserve to allow life to unfold rather than trying to control things. So um, making sure that your dreams are, are lined up kind of with your purpose as well. So like don't set thing, don't set goals for yourself that you don't feel like you really want or you're able to achieve. Um, and that's why it was saying it's important to highlight our skills right now in terms of making sure that you're, um, you're put on your own pedestal pedestal so you're number one um, before other people so um, fixations coming up a lot that's why we meditate because we tend to get fixated on things so um, and I'm, that's giving me chills I think it's really important um, I'm going to be doing in that uh, talk that I also did I was talking about um, creating a kind of a little retreat for people for healing that will involve some meditation practice because I think it's really important for people right now to understand how important um, it is to just let go and release our fears um, it's becoming a major problem in our lives right now in other people's lives and and in that talk I kind of discussed um, it's important to celebrate life it's important to feel passionate do the things that we're meant to do listen to our intuition let go of all that stress and work together as a community um, like I was saying in this in this video here about like using your resources um, not only is it important to have the power of positivity, but I think it's important to respect ourselves in terms of progressing and moving forward. So basically swallowing our pride and working on our emotional growth and, and balance in our lives for well-being. So this is going to be for Sunday. Um, do... <sighs> I'm hearing do what you love, do what you love, so what do you desire? And I think we know the answer to that. Um, it's whatever our hearts desire, whatever it is that we love that's really important for Sunday. So please do that for yourself. Make that promise because if you don't, um, these are, you may think that you're not a part of the uh, problem, but if you're not a part of the solution, you're a part of the problem. So just um, kind of uh, make sure that you're a part of society and helping each other. Um, as much as you can. So reach out to a loved one, reach out to a friend on Sunday, um, and make sure that they're okay as well as yourself. So friendships may be tight on Sunday if you're making the effort. Life purpose is going into Monday. Fast forward a little bit into um, even the following Sunday I'm hearing. So for some reason that's coming up. So even like Monday to the following Sunday, you're going to find you really need to, everything needs to have a place. Everything needs to have a home. There needs to be solutions. There has to be. It's not an option. So um, this is getting a little bit more into past Wednesday, but finding um, life purpose. But finding your purpose is, is was a book that I was kind of starting to chat about in the last video. And somebody said I got cut off and I said I would continue on talking about that. But um, the it just completely cut off so there wasn't any more of that video and so now I'm kind of adding some stuff in there and it's just kind of saying um, the rest of that was basically that we all have purpose in life we all have meaning and uh, when we start unraveling ourselves a little bit more in this life we start discovering our um, our abilities and how to tap into that intuition and that sort of thing so you're gonna find um, starting on Monday in all the way through Sunday. Like I said, there, there may be a new chapter in your life and you really have to stay on top of everything. So it's a lot of work to be successful in, in our own lives. And when I mean successful, I just mean um, doing our part essentially. Um, but don't fret over the little things and just make sure that you're kind of staying grounded and keeping everything together. And I'm telling you like, amazing things are gonna happen, but you may not see it right away. So just keep that in mind, stay optimistic. I'm hearing if there's anyone watching that's clairvoyant um, 
to uh, make sure that they're not um, following anybody else's lead, meaning they're not influenced by others. Okay, so I'm really feeling like I'm, for some reason, I'm supposed to uh, talk about uh, the week after as well. So um, people are moving into new chapters in their lives, and it's really important that they get their own angel cards, that they start doing their own practices. So I think what I'm going to do is um, either tonight or tomorrow night. Tomorrow night at 6 o'clock, I'm doing a reading on Robin's Healing Facebook page. 6 o'clock live reading if you're interested. And then I'm also either tonight or tomorrow on my Facebook page, I'm going to um, say when I'm doing my healing retreat and I'm going to um, be able to explain exactly what that entails. I think it's really important for certain people. Um, the hind. So um, this is saying about being gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. So this is Tuesday and onward. I feel like we're trying to create balance in our lives right now and uh, stereotypes keep coming up. Where, oh, she's this or he's that. We have to let that go. Um, just even my breathing is shallow. So it's like we're thinking too much. Um, even that's why if you're clairvoyant, sometimes I think that people think that they are able to do, if I'm clairvoyant, then I'm able to do this. If I'm whatever, then I'm, and this is also carries stereotypes because it's like we're getting fixated on details that haven't even happened yet. And we're trying to define things that we haven't allowed to, we haven't even allowed ourselves to uncover or discover yet. So, um, just distant healings coming up and, uh, that we can transfer energy to people from a distance and, um, that's okay. So some people love that need love and don't worry about um, where you are in this moment in time. Really uh, focus in, like I said, on uh, covering all your bases and covering all your chapters, and making sure that you're doing the little things for you that you need to do. And I promise you things will get better if you feel like they're not great right now, okay? So Tuesday is saying um, swallow your pride, let go. Um, just being funny and lighthearted on Tuesday. Um, get back to just the basics and the things that you love to do in your life. Um, because if we don't work on those things that we, like if we're not spending our time doing the things that we like to do, that's when life can become a little more meaningless. So um, hopefully you found this uh, helpful. I feel like uh, writing a list can be helpful for people. It seems very basic but it's um, helped a lot of people in, in the past just uh, achieve, achieve, achieve. So um, whatever shape or form um, to your healing, um, this is. I hope that you appreciate it and uh, feel free to comment if there's something that you liked. And again, if you can give me some uh, feedback in ways that I can help you guys, I will also do that as I am always open to um, learning in my own practices. Okay, so I hope that you have a great week and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.